Welcome everybody to 111 La Bolsa Road in Walnut Creek, California. This is in the Lakewood area of Walnut Creek. We're surrounded by custom homes. There is a man-made lake in this area if you've never been here before. It is a gorgeous spot to be in. And we're sitting in front of one of the best homes. I mean, you've got so many amazing things that they did here. It's fully rebuilt in 2023. I'm really excited to take you guys in. Let's talk a little bit about the specs on the property before we do so. So it's a four bed, three bath, 2,746 square feet sitting on 0.39 of an acre. Now this home was completely torn, about 80% of it down to the studs. The garage completely taken apart and rebuilt to make it a two car garage. All of the utilities, your plumbing, your mechanical, your HVAC, your tankless water heater, the concrete we're standing on right now redone to be six inches. Everything, French drain, completely redone and remade. Super duper modern home, and I'm super excited to take you inside. You can already tell, just from taking a look on the exterior before we head in, you've got this beautiful modern stucco painted a gray color that matches beautifully to coexist with the cedar wood planking finishes as well. I love it. The 111 number alone is such a special number too. It's very lucky for those that are here. I don't know if you could tell, but I got my uh, little Irish luck socks on too. So let's head on inside. I wanna take you guys into a tour. Let's have some fun. All right, welcome inside everybody. My breath is already taken away, to be honest with you. The details of this place, I'm gonna be talking about a lot of. Uh, right when you enter though, engineered hardwood flooring, wide plank, really light color, which really, really nice. All the light bounces off of it and spreads because there's so much space throughout this entire home. You've got the recessed ceiling right when you first walk in with this recessed lighting and these up lights that go around. The lighting details in this place are impeccable. There's so much up lighting that's done, back lighting, all sorts of fun with it. And then you have this centerpiece chandelier right when we enter. Super duper cool, looks really good and really ties everything in. You've got our dining room right here. This is seated for six. I really think you could probably fit two more and probably have room for eight. You know, you got Thanksgiving, Christmas, whatever holidays, traditions you have, have the whole family over in this dining room. Really nice, all the light that comes in, super airy and fresh and modern. I love it. Along with these floorings, you're gonna see throughout, they got the four inch modern uh, square baseboards throughout. Looks really, really good and ties everything in. So coming into our kitchen, this is the centerpiece of this entire property on its own. This is a beautifully done kitchen, starting off with this island. I wanna say this is probably about a four by 10 piece right here, all quartz countertop. And what's really crazy about this is this is probably a jumbo slab countertop to make it to where you don't have a seam down the center. You can only go a certain, up to a certain size. And this is literally pushing it to the limits. This is the max you can get. And they did it right here. You've got this really cool gold light fixture pendants down the center as well that look really gorgeous and really tie into all the gold fixtures and touches that you have. These handles on the cabinets, all custom cabinetry throughout this entire kitchen with this gold overlap handles that look really nice. I love all of this, it's so, so well done. Quartz countertop along the kitchen, uh, backsplash down uh, the back all the way to the ceiling throughout. You've got these really cool cabinets as well. All of these are, are easy open, soft close cabinets. And then you have these that push open. You know, you can have some snacks, bread, whatever. You're making sandwiches and pop these open and close them again. I think this part is really cool with the under cabinet lighting that's coming throughout. We're making our way downtown. We've got some floating shelves, our sink here looking out the window. All of the appliances as well are all Z-Line stainless steel, top of the line. They really spared no expense in this spot. And you've got this tile that comes in to the back of our stove. You've got eight burners or six with a griddle in the center, right? Off to the center. You can cook for the entire family. You can have everybody over. You've got your seating, your dining room table is set up. You've got this nice hood, massive and large. You've got your pot filler back here, again, gold. And then these little details with the tile, they did the gold center piece, little tiles in the back splash of the stove. I love this entire kitchen. There's probably nothing I would do differently as well as the skylights. We've got five skylights that they added to the house and two of them are in the kitchen. 
again with this recessed ceiling with the up lighting around it as well. I love it. I could live in this kitchen. This is a microwave drawer that you can pet, push a button to open and close. Super cool. Love that they added it into the island because you've got so much storage in this place. I want to take you over to the wet bar. There's some amazing details that were really cool and well done there. Let's head on over. Welcome to our wine bar. What can I make you? I mean, this thing is so well done. Quartz countertops to match our quartz over in the kitchen that marries next to our wine cellar. Full glass from floor to ceiling. The wine cellar is really nice. A little detail that they did, they added a lock to the bottom of the door so nobody can go in and just take any wine that they want. You hold the key, you decide what wine everybody gets. Behind the wine bottles, you can kind of see, <clears throat> maybe in the reflection a little bit right here as well, is they wrapped it, this wall in wallpaper, this gator skin wallpaper. Remember this detail for a little bit later. There's something else I wanna show you that ties into this too. Really, really cool wallpaper that butts up next to our backsplash tile. Again, black tile with these gold features. There's gold splash throughout this whole home all over the place because at the end of the day, I see this home as a gold mine. It is so well done on these little details. Again, so we've got our bar top here that's wrapped with tile all the way around to the side and then all the way over to a waterfall finish on the other side of the bar top. You've got these butterfly pendant lights that I have never seen before. They look super fly. And then you've got this cabinets uh, here, all custom cabinetry. Again, their detail on these, these cabinets are actually wrapped with almost a leather-like finish. Um, they're not just a wood finish on the outside. Really, really well done. You've got a small sink here with our gold fixtures, floating shelves, and its own wine fridge in this area. I mean, the U-shaped wine bar with the countertop is perfect. There's honestly nothing else I would do here along with that wine cellar. And then heads on over into our living room. I mean, look how big this thing is. The vaulted ceilings in here, I wanna say the ceiling goes up maybe like 15 to 20 feet, maybe more towards the 18 to 20-ish range. It's, it's huge, right? And then you have this beautiful centerpiece that has so many different types of materials in play on this thing, and they all marry together so, so well. On either side, uh, adorning it is two pendant lighting that look really beautiful, again, with the gold and black features. But here you have a 72-inch electric linear fireplace. Look at this thing, push of a button, it's on, sets the mood, sets the ambiance. Then you've got your mantle that runs across it right here. And then these shelvings with this light details to fix. Uh, you can do any type of decor you want. You know, they drywalled all this right here, wrapped around. And then you've got your top mantle that comes over to our wood details on either side of our marble pieces that go straight up to the top with that gold trim. Uh, down the center pieces of it. I love, absolutely, absolutely love these wood um, rivets, right? These gold pan, or not gold panels, these wood panels that they put up. It ties into some of the exterior that we'll see a little bit later and throughout the house. There's just so many things in play on this one. And if you can tell, all of this drywall, they did a level five finish, meaning that it's all smooth from ceiling to wall. Completely smooth, level five finish. And what's interesting about this wall is behind this, if we were to take this drywall out, is all soundproof insulation. We've got the primary bedroom that I'm gonna show you in a little bit right behind it, but they did soundproofing all the way through. So you can have people over hanging out at the bar, you know, over in the dining room, out here on the back patio that I'll show you a little bit later, and somebody can be sleeping in their primary bed and not hear a thing. Very, very well done. The thoughtfulness throughout this entire property was so well taken into consideration. And you've got the three more skylights in here to just add to the space and all the recessed lighting. I think it's just gorgeous. There's literally nothing, again, I would do differently. I wanna take you down the hallway to show you the, the three bathrooms and the four bedrooms. Let's on head, on, head on down there before I take you outside. Again, so this gator, the gator wallpaper that I was pointing out earlier on the other side where the wine cellar is wraps around as you head down to the hallway and then wraps here to your Nest system that controls all of your heating and air. The, they did a black switch plate with your black light switch, right? 
which is a nice detail. All the other ones are white. And so if they were to put a white one here, it'd stand out super um, a lot. So I like that they put a black one here. It's really, really well done. Headed in to bathroom numero uno. Now you walk in tile flooring. Again, those four inch baseboards that wrap around. You have a single sink floating vanity gold. And then you have your medicine cabinet here. You can open it up. Again, gold features. It's all these little things that I absolutely love here. This actually has a light switch on it built in, which is very, very cool. Gold fixtures here. And then there's the wallpaper that they wrapped on the wall in this one. It's a little textured, um, which gives it a nice little touch. You've got tile, these massive, massive tiles right here. This is about two by four tile pieces that they stuck on the wall from floor to ceiling. You've got your towel hanger, towel rack, a nice little shelf area here that leads over into our bath, um, our standing shower. You've got your linear drain down on one end. You've got a bench here with a, a nice little niche, some light coming in from that window, and then your waterfall. It's like a junior waterfall piece here. That's like a normal size, but I can't wait to show you the one in the primary bathroom. It is jumbo, it's huge. Love all the things that they did here, the different tiles for the flooring after you step over the curb, the tile that wraps around. Very, very well done bathroom. And let's head on down the hall. One cool thing that you'll notice too, for the just even the paint itself, is they went with a light gray paint that really makes this white trim stick out even more. You've got bedroom number one as you come in here, walk-in closet with custom cabinetry in that closet. Very nice, well done windows here to take a look outside. You have these, this is more of a staging thing, but these nightstands are really cool. I wanna point them out because Ruben and I were talking about them earlier. This whole space right here, you can throw your phone on and uh, charge it wirelessly. Very cool, never seen it before. Really, really like it, noted. For later in life. So headed on down the hallway, continuing, you have a closet here. Both of those open up to a French, uh, French door style. And then we have our bathroom numero dos. So when we're heading in here, again, single sink vanity floating on top of that. You have these light fixtures, just all of this ambiance light. This turned on once we walked in, this light in here. You could do a little decor. Again, this uh, vinyl paneling that's on the back just to add to this accent wall texturing and just add to it with the backlit mirror which looks really really cool um, very very well done it, they leaned into a little bit more of the platinum and the gray on this one with the fixtures besides these handles here but you can see in our shower you've got tile ceiling to floor along this back wall, this gray and white tile. Again, these are two by four um, size tiles, they're huge. Um, stepping into our tub shower with the niche, very well done. I really like this. Yeah, this tile here, I mean, it feels like almost you're in a spacecraft, like you're a Virgin Atlantic flight or something. It's kind of like the best way I can describe it. Really, really cool. Uh, has this sheen to it when the light hits it too, that looks really nice. Now, we're headed on down the hallway and what brings up this corner here. So we have our bedroom number two down to my left, your right. And you know, super well done. Vaulted ceilings in here with the recessed lighting. Again, the same baseboard, four inches that goes around everything as well. I think it's actually five inch of baseboard. And then into our closet, you've got custom cabinetry in here. Super uh, bright and airy in here as well. Very well done. I love the details, the finishes. Um, everything in here is, is top notch. I have not found anything that really sticks out to me as a negative in this home yet. And I'm always looking around for the little things and all the little details are buttoned up. Really, really nice. And then we have on this side, across the hallway from bedroom number two is, uh, you can use an office, it's a smaller room, game room, kids room, whatever you wanna make it. Has a sliding um, mirrored wall panel doors for your closet in here. All right, now I wanna take you in to the primary bedroom. As you step into the primary bedroom, you've got a closet off to your right hand side. Really nice, I mean, mirrored closet, sliding doors, you can open them up, hold coats, hats, whatever you want as you're getting one last look before you head out for the day um, to comfort the world. So as you continue in, the vaulted ceiling in here matches the one in the living room. Again, I wanna say it's 18 to 20 feet high. You've got brand new recessed lighting, 
the, the space in here is jaw dropping. You've got these pendant lights, or the pendant lights that match the pendants in the, the kitchen. These are sconces. I mean, same, same light fixture detail. They completely tie into each other, which I really, really love on either side of the bed here in the center. And then you've got your walk-in closet. You could store so many things in here. Um, completely custom cabinetry. You've got shoes, uh, racks for your shirts, whatever you need, walk-in closet in here. You can store everything, uh, which is really, really nice. I did a good job on this one with this massive door um, to walk into. Now, heading over to our primary bathroom. This thing has so many details that I'm really unsure where to start. So we're just gonna start right in the beginning. So you've got tile flooring all throughout. It's completely tiled on two of the walls from floor to ceiling. Those uh, two feet by four feet tiles, they're massive as you step on in. You've got double sink vanities, but not just any type of double sink vanities. You've got your own station. His and hers, hers and hers, his and his, whatever you want, you have your own station to get ready in the morning, get ready for bed at night, whatever it is. <clears throat> These white uh, floating, floating shelves down here, which is really, really sweet with our sink right here, our gold fixtures with our touch uh, mirror as well. And then you've got your medicine cabinet off to the side. They're mirrored, they're the same thing on either side, right? This glass, just linear style uh, medicine cabinet that's really, really cool. As we move across, we're gonna be taking a look at this in-mount wall, this wall-mounted toilet here. You've got your push buttons, you've got your own niche for a little decor, and then you've got your toilet. Remember how I was talking about the wallpaper behind the wine cellar? It's kind of like a gator-ish type feel, uh, gator skin. This toilet has a gator skin style decor um, wrapped around it. It looks so cool. Little place to, to hold your cell phone if you want. These are towel racks that are heated. You've got two of them on either side. With our freestanding tub here, again, another linear fireplace for some ambiance that you can set. Take your tub, uh, fill it up with all the bubbles and the rubber duckies you ever wanted in your entire life. And this tub filler, that's the gold, the gold fixture here. It looks really, really pretty. Above the freestanding tub, again, all of the lighting in here is so well thought of and well done. They've got this really cool uh, light fixture that hangs down uh, right in the center of this back wall. That looks really, really cool. Um, gives this fun kind of water-ish type feel. And then heading over to your own waterfall inside of your primary bath. This is a curbless shower, all glass walls, right? And then you have your niche right here, super long niche, which is really nice, probably 24 inches, 16 inches. Uh, stepping on in, tile, linear drain with your own bench here. Above us is a massive waterfall. This thing is huge. I can stand here every freaking day, every morning, every night, and just let water rush over me. You feel like you're standing below like a semi falls or something. This is huge. Little detail, these gold shower jets that they have. Now, I'm a little short. Uh, when, I stand, when I sit here, I've got two of them in perfect placement, like lower back and mid back. And then this one above me is just gonna shoot right over. But if you're a little taller, you have your own like shower head massager for your head. Um, these are jets that come shooting out and you've got your own handheld here. Just so well done. Washcloth, washcloth for your face holder right here. They, they really thought of everything. Um, somebody really took some time and meditated on what exactly what I want in my perfect bathroom. And this is what they did. It's so well done. Now, I wanna take you guys out to see the backyard. There's a ton of structural stuff that they did, some retaining wall stuff, um, as well as a really cool back patio hangout. Let's head on out there and take a look. All right, welcome to your back patio lounge. Like this is a proper, proper lounge. I feel like when I step out here, I'm at a restaurant. You have Trex flooring uh, down here, the, the wood planks that are Trex, you know, they're super durable, last you forever, they don't rot or anything like that, which is really nice. And then they have these, again, these wood vinyl panels 
wrapped in here, these accent walls that, that tie in all throughout the property on either side that match the entertainment system in the living room on either side of that quartz marble or the quartz, uh, quartz slabs in the center above the TV. You've got linear light fixtures on either side that look really, really beautiful along with this cable railing that wraps around this deck here. So well done. Vaulted ceiling with this awning with the recessed lights in. I mean, it's been drywalled and you can hang out here all day long. Open up those double sliders and have a little bit of outdoor, indoor hangout, family over, party, you know, enjoy yourselves. Stepping on out a little bit as we come to the backyard, again, all new concrete pavers, this retaining wall that wraps around the entire property to really offset and pull away some of that mountain or the hill that's behind it as well. You've got all new redwood fencing all wrapped around. Coming over to our stairs here, these are redwood stairs that they built again with our cable railing here, which is really nice. Our white stone pathway that moves over to our um, pavers that continue over to our hangout, our little crow's nest, you know, a nice little area you can perch up, maybe even throw a fireplace out here, roast some marshmallows with the kids, with the family, and enjoy yourself. And you really just get a nice view of the entire property as you look in. I can see straight to the kitchen. I mean, the, the open concept of open modern in this place hits the nail on the head. It's, it's textbook at the end of the day. They did so many things so well out here that I'm in love. I wish I could have it. I mean, Ruben, we should just stay here and never leave. I think that might have to be, be the play. Call them. <laughs> Again, the windows themselves, all brand new as well. All the black trim around the windows. They're double pane Anderson windows. They did such a good job. I, uh, I wanna hang out here. You hear the birds chirping. I don't wanna leave. I want to thank everybody for joining us today at 111 La Bolsa Road in Walnut Creek, California. It's been my absolute pleasure getting to know you and having you walk through with us. Once again, if you have not met me yet, my name is Cameron Chatterton with Chatterton Homes Group powered by Twin Oaks Real Estate. I want to give a big shout out real quick to the listing agent on this property who is also one of the builders on this property as well, Mino Najafi. We really, really appreciate it. It's been an absolute pleasure walking through. Also a big shout out to our cameraman, Ruben, everybody. He's been doing an amazing job. We love him. You can see him in the, in the, in the reflection a little bit here if he lets you. Uh, but yeah, guys, again, follow us, subscribe. We're gonna be doing more videos and taking you on more tours. We look forward to seeing you on the next one and we can't wait to talk to you then. Thanks everybody.